everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a makeup look. I was requested to do the makeup look that I did in a previous video. It was a what ain't in a day video I think and somebody said that they like my makeup and they would like to see me show kind of how to do it. I am going to kind of do that but I might do something slightly different. We will see. I'm the kind of person that every day with my makeup, I do different things. Every single day, I get bored. If I do the same thing, I have to do different things. And to kind of keep myself occupied in lockdown, I have got my palettes down here. I'll show you. I have got more, but this is just some of them. And I go through a palette. I pick it up. Every day, I will use a different shade. So... I've already gone through this palette, so every day, so for example Monday, we'll start with this one, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it just keeps me occupied, and at the minute I'm working through this one, this is the Soph X Revolution palette, the first one that Soph Does Nails came out with, and yeah, it is broken because I've used it so much, and I've been using that every single day, so I'm going to kind of incorporate the shade that I've like set out for today. I know it's confusing, it's just how my brain works. So this is a makeup tutorial. I am gonna do more on my channel. I'm gonna do a mixture of everything on here. It's not just gonna be food and fitness and everything like that anymore. It's gonna be everything. So I've got myself, <laughs> I've got myself a beverage. It's not an alcoholic beverage. It is water, iced water. I get a bottle, fill it up from the tap, put it in the fridge, when it's cold, bring it out, tip it in here, add a little bit of lemon juice, add a homemade ice cube. We're done. Also, I've just put some ice cubes in the freezer and they've got frozen berries in, so I'm interested to see how they look. Hopefully they turn out all right. I don't know why, but today I feel like I'm on holiday. It's just a weird feeling. I think it's because it's like the first proper sunny day and I just feel like I'm on holiday. But anyway, let's bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, hello, welcome. So we're in a bit closer. That is a teddy bear pug. Jamie got it for me, he won it in the arcades. So what I've done today is I've straightened my hair. I actually straightened like the entire head of hair, right? I just felt like it did it in a different way and it's actually come out a lot better. So I might do a get ready with me soon. Skincare wise, I've just moisturized and I've used a serum. The serum is from Lidl and trust me, it is gonna be making its way into my April favorites because I love it already. I don't know why, it's just really nice and it's like two pounds something, so you'll see that in that video. And I have also added on some sun cream because I'm gonna be going outside today into the garden and when I say garden, I mean little pavement area. I There is a little kind of transformation going on outside. Me and Jamie are like fixing it up. Well, I say me and Jamie. Jamie is like fixing it up outside, sanding down the chairs, cleaning up the outside area so that we can have some nice barbecues. So when we have a barbecue, I'll vlog it and show everything. So let's get in with the makeup. Going to my makeup bag. This is the primer that I use. This is from the Body Shop. So it is the Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Reviver instant smoother this is an amazing primer it's in their skincare section that they have but it is definitely something that i would recommend them to market you know more in the makeup -y section of the primer if i'm looking that way it's because there's the mirror and what's good about this primer is that it smooths out your pores and it like fills them in so it kind of like any shine that I have on my face goes away, but that doesn't mean that moisture and hydration is gone. It just means that it's filled in my pores so that when foundation goes over the top, it doesn't seep into your skin and just get lost. It creates like a really nice smooth layer. This is the best primer I've ever used and I am gonna rebuy it, but I'm the kind of person that likes to try new things first and then in the future, I'll come back to buying it. My skin feels so soft right now, I love it. I'm gonna use a foundation and the foundation that I'm using is Somewhere in this house. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. This was in my March Feelings Favourites and Fails. In the video, I put March Feelings Favourites and Faves. I don't know what goes on in my brain, I really don't. Um, but yeah, I used to have the one in the shade Lighter. I'm not entirely sure where that, oh yeah, it's here. Um, I don't know why I didn't throw it out, but maybe, oh no, it's because I'm gonna put it in an empties video. Um, I used to have it in soft beige, but now I have it in golden beige because it didn't have soft beige. And when I've got a tan, it does match. Um, a fake tan that is um, from gradual tan, not 
an, an actual tan from the sun so i'm going to apply some of this it's only five pounds something my favorite foundation i would recommend it's not heavy um i don't want to go on about it too much because i know i've talked about it in that video if you want to go and watch that like it's one of those foundations that it doesn't look like you're wearing it when you get the right shade this is a little bit dark and then i'm gonna brush it out now usually i use a beauty sponge but recently i've actually been obsessed with using this brush which is from primark i don't know why don't ask me i just am and i always spray a little setting spray on the brush and i'm using the makeup setting spray from the body shop this was in the fail section of my march feelings favorites and fails because I don't like it as a setting spray so therefore I use it on my brush just to kind of make it a little bit more moist. I don't know why, I just do, it's just what I do, don't ask me. And I'm just going to blend this in. Sometimes I do my eyes first, sometimes I do this first and then my eyes after, it depends how much eyeshadow I'm putting on but recently you know I'm just kind of mixing and matching and mixing it up. Also, on a side note, um, obviously you guys know I'm doing like Alexandra's Happy Body Plan, like a whole like fitness thing. I have recently decided to lower my calories for the day to 1,200 instead of 1,400. And you know, that is quite low, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel like it's really low because the, the meals that I have, I've got loads of vegetables in which aren't that high in calories. So it means that I can eat more, which I suppose is good instead of, you know, eating a pile of rubbish um but i decided to do that just because i just felt like i wasn't you know as motivated to stick to 1400 and for some reason i'm more motivated to stick to 1200 which is less so that doesn't make any sense but you know i am and i was doing that for two days and within the two days i've been on 1200 calories plus exercise as well but not you know loads um i've lost two and a half pounds in two days so i'm gonna keep this up and i will let you know how that goes and for those of you that are saying, you know what, why do you need to lose weight? And this is people that know me. Um, it's because I gained weight. I gained weight when I started uni. I just want to lose that weight and I'm, and I'm sorted. Do you know what I mean? So it's not a thing of I've hit this stage of my life where I just suddenly decided I want to start counting calories. It's because I gained weight. I would like to lose it. So I've applied my foundation. And now I'm going to apply concealer. And I did actually get this concealer new yesterday from Lidl. So we've got something to try out today half and half first impression i did use this yesterday i used it underneath my eyes but i'm going to use it kind of all over this time when i say all over i'm going to use it in the areas where i would usually apply concealer and it's like one of those squeezy tube ones so it's quite difficult to use i am not going to lie i've never used something like this before in my entire life it's kind of feeling a little bit like a moisturizer as well so it's like um Kind of a creamy consistency mixed with a moisturiser or am I just being weird? Ugh. This is extremely hard to use. Oh my Christ. By the way, I would usually do cream contour but when I'm sort of got more time and I've got time to just mess around and do whatever I want, I use cream contour. Today, we are not going to be doing that because I'm filming a video and that takes me 10 times longer anyway. So. Oh, that's got more side on that and on that, so I'll just pop that look. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a favourite. It was really cheap anyway. I'm not entirely sure how much it was. Right, so first impressions of that, it isn't blending the best. So basically, it does feel like it's got a lot of, like... It feels like a CC cream or a BB cream. It feels like a BB cream because it feels like it's mixed with some kind of moisturiser and coverage wise it's okay it's not you know amazing and it's you know it's okay it's brightening a little it's not amazing coverage but it's not terrible yeah that's okay it just is a little bit harder to blend because of the fact it feels like it's got a moisturizer in it which means that it wants to take my foundation off underneath but it isn't too bad it was just something i picked up because i wanted to try usually what I would do because usually I'm like messing around and stuff and I've got loads of time I will go in with more concealers and apply more but you don't need to this is adequate enough my skin's looking okay 
My skin itself, in terms of skincare, has actually been okay recently. Whilst we've been on lockdown, I've been focusing on my skin a lot more. And I've been doing my skincare routine, applying my face mask from my skincare range. My website is still down at the minute. I did make the decision. I don't know if I mentioned that on YouTube. I did make the decision to take my website down. By the way, I'm just using my powder. This is the Natural Collection Matte Press Powder in the shade Warm, I think. I think it's warm. It's rubbed off. Um, and I'm going to apply that. But yeah, I decided to take my website off or down or put everything out of stock anyway. Um, because I just felt like I didn't want to be in the position where I had to keep leaving the house to go to the post office. And although I, you know, go t tend to go in one go and take everyone's stuff in one go, I just was ready for a little bit of a break from everything and just to kind of recharge my brain. And I want to come back with a new product. So basically, I want to bring my website out when I've got my next product ready and my next product is one I wanted to bring out and it's going to be my favourite one because it's something that I use every day anyway um obviously from a different brand not from me but I want to make it myself um and I think it's something that I might struggle with so I've got the time to do it and when I put my website back out there and start selling again I'm gonna hopefully have that product out and I want to make sure that everything that I put out I'm really happy with so I'm gonna make a few changes and things like that but it's all for the good so I've just powdered my feet are dead let's take a five second break okay hello so I'm now going to be contouring using this sleek palette this is the sleek face form contour and blush palette in the shade flare 372 and I as you can see I don't like the blush shade it's shimmery really shimmery so it's just not my cup of tea but the other shades I like I use the contour shade it's very pigmented so I literally tap it like that and then just like literally lightly do a sweep like that and just try and blend it a little bit but when we do bronzer we'll blend it as well and then under my jawline so this whole lockdown thing i'm just chatting now <laughs> um is okay i'm actually adjusting to it since i did my march um feelings etc video i have actually adjusted a lot more and got used to being at home me and jamie are outside when the weather's sunny i feel so much better because we can go outside and we can do stuff with the um the garden um ready for a barbecue so it feels like i'm working towards something and by the way i'm using my bronzer it's the collection bronze and glow um it's a matte bronzer and it's in the shade number one terracotta love this little guy but yeah me and jamie we're just doing kind of everything that we can just to work towards the barbecues that we want to have in our own little garden just the two of us and i'm just trying my hardest to keep a routine going which means kind of getting up at a, an okay time now i know people are saying get up early but i find that if i get up early the days feel so long so i actually don't get up that early like earliest will be eight o'clock latest 11 like it's it's that kind of level but i've got nothing to get up for and i still manage to fill my days with like good stuff and you know have a routine in terms of things that you do rather than specific times of day so i still do my makeup and everything and i still have my routine of my breakfast in the morning and then my lists that i make i make a list in the evening of what i want to accomplish the next day and then when you tick things off you feel like you've got stuff done revising for my uni exams oh yeah i'll talk about that in a second my foot is so numb it's literally going to be falling off any second it's because i can't exactly do a tutorial down here can i okay so i am going to use a new blusher it is from lidl it's in the shade number three sweet harmony so this is blusher and i love shades like this so i'll just show you if i can open it there we go like a nice peachy pinky kind of shade so it's quite light it isn't you know like a really strong color and i'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks i like blushes that can almost like blend in to your bronzer so maybe like a little bit more kind of of a like peachier shade than this but yeah I just like it to kind of be a little bit more blended in rather than being something that stands out a lot because I do know that some people really like to use blusher. I love blusher but just not a lot of it. Okay so highlighter. 
for my highlight i'm going to use one that i purchased when i went on holiday with my friends um i went on holiday with my friends leanne steph and emma and those vlogs are still on my channel i purchased the w7 glow commotion shimmer highlighter and i don't know if this has a shade i don't think it does um but yeah it's nearly kind of running out but i still really love it and i'm just gonna pop that on get that glow Oh, I've forgotten to contour my nose. Maybe I won't bother today. It's one of those things that sounds really stupid, like why would you contour your nose? But it's one of those things that once you've started, you can't stop. And having said that, I think I'm just gonna quickly do that. Um, I literally just used the contour shade that I used at the start to do my contour. And I'm gonna take a little brush and just kind of bring that down my nose. Try not to do it so too defined. But obviously, you know, you can blend it out. It doesn't make much difference, but in my eyes it does. It's just like a subtle difference to me that I just like to do. So, just going to blend it all out with my powder brush. I like to just use this step just to kind of go around everything, smoothing it all out. Now I'm gonna go into brows and I'm gonna use this, which is from The Body Shop. This is The Body Shop Brow and Liner Kit in the shade number three. It looks quite dark, but it actually matches perfectly to um, my hair color, which is kind of dark. Oh, balls. So I'll do my brows and I'll get back to you. I use the lighter shade on the middle, the darker shade on the outside, simples. Um, but yeah, about uni, basically I, yeah, first of all, my uni sent out an email saying that we are not closing. This was a few weeks ago. They were like, we're not closing. We will not be closing at all. Three hours later, they sent an email saying we are now going to be closing and all lectures and everything is going to be online. And to be fair, all of my lecturers have been really good with the online stuff. I've just been revising and sort of doing my own thing from the beginning rather than focusing on that. But we sort of didn't know if we was doing, you know, online exams or what was going on really. And then they did send an email and we are going to be doing exams online. I've seen a lot of people like complaining about how the uni and other unis are dealing with this and that, you know, we're not being told much. But at the end of the day, they have not had chance to prepare for this just like we haven't how are you expecting them to just suddenly make a massive decision that will impact thousands of people so at the end of the day it's one of those things where you think you know they need to make a decision fast but also it's hard because they need to make the right decision so they can't rush into something and Obviously new things are gonna have to be made, like new exams are gonna be made, because obviously mine are online, so they're gonna have to be, you know, making different exams, things that are capable of being done online. It is an open book exam, which means that you can use resources to help you with it, obviously, because people would cheat anyway. Let's be real, like if I was faced with the paper um, online and we weren't allowed to use the internet and I did not have a clue what I was doing, of course I would use the internet because you're not gonna jeopardize your grade because you don't wanna cheat um, when it's right there in front of you and it's that easy, do you know what I mean? I, I'm hoping that everybody else would do that too. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm, you know, happy with how it's going, I just think, as long as you revise what you've done so far and as long as you are just revising kind of everything that's happening as if your exams were going to go ahead anyway, then you'll be fine. You've got nothing to worry about. By the way, I'm just using a slightly more kind of angled brush and I'm just going to do the tail of the eyebrows. It's this one that always annoys the heck out of me. You always got that one eyebrow, haven't you? Okay, so I'm now using my Soph palette that I mentioned at the start. I've gone through all of the shades. So the thing that I'm doing every day where I'm using a shade a day. And the shade that I've got up to is this one here. So I am gonna incorporate that in. By the way, I'm discluding transition shades and things like that. So I am going to be taking this white shade here and just kind of blending that over my lid and just getting like a nice base. This is just what I do. Then I'm gonna take the shade next to it, which is more of kind of like a 
I don't know, skin tone like colour. I just use these shades because they don't make any difference. They just make me feel better doing it. Um, and then I'm going to mix these two together to create my transition shade. Like this. And just buff that up quite a bit. And then I'm going to take this is a complicated these two now you get to witness how many eyeshadows actually go on georgie card's eyelids the answer is too many and then just to deepen up the crease i'm going to take a little dash you know a dash here a dash there of that in the outer corner and you could literally leave it like this like this would be like my everyday neutral look and when I say every day I do not do neutral looks every day I do whatever the heck I want I use different colors it's like art it's like coloring in a book it's just fun instead of coloring in a book I color in my face I know I want to do a wing because that's what do you know what I am actually going to do most of what that look was okay so in the look in the other video I used this pinky shade just here so I am going to take that and pop that over my lid and I literally all I did was apply this colour over the lid and then I did a winged liner like that well what I'm going to do now is I am just going to take a little bit of this shade and I'm just going to kind of buff that into the outer corner a little bit and then up a bit just to like smoke it out a tad you know it's just how I'm feeling avoiding the inner part just that it looks a bit more ombre okay so i think that is it done for the eyelid i am just going to do some winged liner and this is where it could all go wrong so i'm going to take my am i going to take this i am it's my it's quite old that's why i was deciding it's my rimmel ink me i am body liner and it is old so pray for me that this is going to work oh my god this is so hard why is it so hard dun 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 lord we're about to witness a whole makeup look go down the drain think I might leave it there just because it's going to wind me the hell up okay so this is what the liner is looking like it's not looking amazing it's looking quite bad I'm actually and I know you're gonna think of course you're just saying that I think it is because this is quite old and it's a bit sticky it's hard to use so I do need oh I should have really used my other one yeah, well, I don't know why I didn't do that anyway um so I'm just gonna set everything in place and the setting spray I'm gonna use is the one that I don't like I'm just kind of using it up I don't have another one at the minute I need to get another one to be honest but a better one um so I'm just gonna set this in place and then finish the makeup look up move my hair out of the way Oh yeah, and the reason why I don't like it is because it kind of makes my skin look a little bit too dewy. So it's fine for other people. It's just my personal skin type being oily skinned. And then I'm going to use mascara, which I also bought recently. This is from Lidl. Whenever I do eyeliner, I need to do loads of mascara. This is the Volume Mascara Extreme Lashes. So that's one side compared to the other i think that's quite nice like considering it's a really cheap mascara from lidl i had ran out of my other one hence why i had to buy a new one the other one i had was from the body shop and it kind of got like quite old so i just got this one i think when it comes to makeup i would rather spend my money on things that can go severely wrong like foundation rather than things like this because you can't go too wrong 
with these kind of products. Okay, I think we are done. I just think that makes like so much difference when you use mascara. I personally think that mascara makes so much difference when you've got eyeliner on and also when i do use liquid eyeliner i never really put eyeshadow on the lower lash line and that's just because i think there's quite a lot going on with the eyeliner itself that it's just nice to leave the lower lash line just a little bit bare Sorry, I forgot to wipe away fallout, so I'm just kind of doing that, but there wasn't too much fallout anyway. Um, so I'm now going to use lipstick and then we are done. Oh, also, I'm going to set my brows in place using my Model Co Clear Brow Gel. It's kind of running out, but, you know, it makes me feel like my brows are, like, nicely set in place. It just makes them really kind of stiff so they do actually stay where they are where are we i might do a lip gloss i think i will because i was wearing a lip gloss in that video okay so i'm gonna take this lip product which is from beauty big bang i did a video with them a couple of years ago still got this still love it still one of my favorite products and i literally just take this brush here and just line my lips with it you don't need a lip liner to line your lips you can use a lipstick. Okay, and then we're done. No, I'm joking. Then I am going to pop on another one from Beauty Big Bang. It's a lip crayon. This one's in the shade number eight, Fuzzy Wuzzy. By the way, the other one was in the shade Rose Taupe. And just kind of pat this on. These are amazing matte lip crayons. I love them. I could just leave the look there and we're done but i am gonna put a lip gloss on because that's what i had in that video and i do quite like using it this one was from primark and it was i think it was from primark no it wasn't it was from essence i did get this from essence and all the writing's rubbed off by the way that's why and i'm just gonna put this on it is really nice okay so this is everything that i have done i have finished all my makeup today it took longer than usual because i'm filming but usually this wouldn't take me as long as this because i've used a few less products than normal but it's kind of the makeup that i wore in the video where somebody requested me to do this makeup but it's just got a little bit more of kind of like a pinky tone in the corner and the winged eyeliner is a little bit more dodgy but we can get past that so the new products that I tried, I'll just show my kind of brief review of the new products I tried. The concealer from Lidl overall, it's all right. It's good if you're on a budget, but it does have that kind of like moisturizing kind of feel to it that makes it a little bit harder to blend. The mascara from Lidl, love this. It is really good as a mascara. It is really volumizing and cheap and you do get what you pay for. It is good. And then the blusher from Lidl again I also really love this as you can see it's just quite subtle and that's the kind of shade that I tend to go for so overall I'm really happy with how it turned out and hopefully you like it if you do give the video a thumbs up if you've got any more like requests of what you want me to do uh, or any kind of specific makeup look or if you want to see me try and blue or green or whatever then let me know but yeah this is this video so please subscribe for more videos and i will see you in my next one goodbye